All right guys, here we are and we're about to go on another epic adventure. As you can see behind me, the old camper is still here. Yes, my dad tried to sell it. The guy that was buying it fell through and I told my dad if he tries to sell it for a price lower than that, then I'm taking the camper and that's what I did. So it is ours now. It is gonna live on, on the channel and we are taking it on an epic adventure right now. We are about to head to Florida. We are going to my friend Camp Cannon's house and the reason why we're going down there is we're gonna meet up with him because I'm actually gonna be bringing my turtles and I'm gonna be giving them to him to take care of. I want my turtles to live as best of a life as they possibly can. So I'm going to be bringing him three tortoises and four water turtles. We have them all packed up in the camp right now. And we're going to journey down all the way to South Florida. It's going to be myself. It's going to be the big boy. What up, what up? And it's going to be Big Rick. Yeah. Professional camper drivers over here. All yes. three of us. It's the truth. Last a lot of the camper, I had to fly home. Oh, yeah. That you were there for the, the transmission the incident. Transmission incident. <laughs> but that's in the past. We got a new transmission. Everything's going to be good. But we're going to go inside right now. We're going to get this going. And we're just going to have an epic, awesome trip. And uh, let's go check out the tortoises right now. I'll show you guys what we got working on in there. All right, guys. So we have the turtles in here. Right here, this is where we have the water turtles. They are in there with uh, some sphagnum moss that is moist. So it's going to keep them uh, nice and comfortable. We're going to be checking on them frequently along the ride as well. And now under here is where we have the tortoises. What we used was a long box that was for a fake Christmas tree. And as you can see, the tortoises are hanging out in here. I have the three tortoises. I have my star tortoise. I have the Greek tortoise right here. Let me see what they're doing. He's always underneath this one. He does it on purpose, I swear to you. He goes underneath this one. Uh, we have the golden Greek, we have the star tortoise, and we have the big leopard. She got so big. When I got her, she was only this big. And uh, to see her grow into what she has is amazing. And it's it's crazy because like bringing her to Kennens and yes, she's not going to be like under our watch anymore. But I feel so good inside because I know that Kennen has the best place possible for them. Like they're going to live such a happy, normal tortoise life, and that's what's so important. And uh, this is going to be great, man. We're driving 20 hours to go drop these guys off, and it's going to be an awesome experience. You guys know Kennen. Everybody loves Kennen. He's the best dude in the world when it comes to reptiles, and he has such a great energy. And he used to be a professional BMX rider while I was growing up. So this is going to be so cool to go hang out with him. And we have some surprises in the store when we get down there. I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag just yet, but you guys will see when we get there. But uh, we're going to put these guys underneath here. We're going to let them settle down. Look at the Greek. You see him? He, he just, just wants he them. chases her and then he runs into her with with his shell. It's ridiculous. And he's biting her leg right now too. Apparently she knows. Oh, he's much. biting the leg. What a jerk. Come here. Hey. Come here, you. This guy is such a pain in the butt. He's always, always picking on her. Because she's so big and she's so beautiful and he's, he's just so, so jealous. Look at him. Look at this guy. Does that look like a stone face killer to you? All right, well, we're going to divide this guy up. We're going to put him in his own little area because he's got, he needs some time and time out, doesn't he? It's time to get this journey started. It's got a long, long drive ahead of us, but it's going to be awesome when we get there. Well, it took 17 hours, but we finally made it to Florida. I never want to see the road again. <laughs> never again? No. Why is this light above me on? Because <laughs> we're filming. We need this light on the film. <laughs> Tell YouTube go away for four more hours. Yeah. I never drove so much in my damn life. So we are in Florida right now. It is a little after six in the morning and we just pulled up to Trey's house. Trey lives about two and a half hours away from where Kenan lives and we're gonna stop here. We're gonna see if Trey wants to go with us, but also we're gonna use his driveway so we could sleep in and uh and kind of be like a little safe area. But the sun's about to be coming up. As you can see it's still a little dark outside and we made it. We decided to drive throughout the night and we are here. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick checkup, just to let you guys know what's happening. I am so tired. I didn't sleep at all. The Ricky and Big Boy have already been sleeping. Ricky really put in some work. I put in some nice sleep work, guys. <laughs> yeah, expect I slept big, a good amount. On this expect trip. some big things from Ricky. First right now. time yeah, ever. You better, you, we better be seeing <laughs> some serious toothpick chinks all around the world. Big, over look here. over. I want you to look at the camera, real quick. Bro, your hair's never been redder right now. <laughs> this light right here is magic. That's cause my hair's red it's cause full burgundy, man. It's full, full tire. Burgundy. It's, it's yeah. full lit. All right. full fire. We'll check in on you guys in a little bit. Ten o'clock, it's rise and shine, and we're gonna figure out what we're doing. After three and a half hours of total sleep, most of us are up and about right now. We are on our way down to Kenan's place, and we have a new member of the group. Trey Jones is back in the building right now. How's your arm healing up? Better. Here we go. Yeah. Whoa! No! Oh 
Oh my god, from his hand up to his forearm onto this tricep. He's scabbed up now. He's pretty scabbed up still, but uh, he's pretty excited about going to Kennan's. We had so much fun last time, but we're driving right now. It's looking a little dark, a little gloomy out. Um, I don't know if it's going to rain or not. I mean, it says like thunderstorms on it, but uh, we'll see what happens. You never know in Florida. Welcome to Camp Kennan. <laughs> oh Once my again. god, I love coming here. This is the coolest place on earth. Honestly, Kenan, so great to see you. Again. Yes. And so awesome to see you so many times in such a short amount of time. I know, time. really. Did you really want cool. uh, my Facebook memory popped up uh -huh. from exactly one year ago we were hanging out in New Jersey. Today. Really? Yeah, when I was How when cool I went to uh yeah, to your New Jersey skate park helping us and, uh, yeah, helping us down there with That was the, that was also the last time I was on my BMX bike or a BMX bike in any kind of way and uh, I did a three flip <laughs> into <laughs> your phone. <laughs> Yes! Perfect 360 back. Maybe if it doesn't rain, we'll head over to the uh, skate park in Abaco and we'll, I'll go roll around with Big Boy, who's yes. right there. Yeah, on the I'm camera ready. right now. Yeah. So, anyway. after a long journey, we made it yep. here. A very long journey. It took absolutely forever, but we are so glad to be here. Cool. Um, it is a little bit of a rainy day out, but um, it's kind of holding off for right now, and we're going to be able to film this whole entire process. So, I was explaining to everybody on the way here, you know, like a me raising these animals for as long as I have. I mean, I've had these guys since 2011, and you know, I got to the point now where I think that I can't give them the best life that they deserve. Gotcha. So you being able to give them the best life possible, I mean, this place is absolutely amazing. The Your dedication and your care for these for these animals is just, it's second to none, it really Well, is. I appreciate so that. I'm, I'm so happy that these animals are going to be living here with you. Well, I'm stoked. Watch. I'm stoked because, you know, we've been friends for a long time, and uh, I do have something of a tortoise and turtle situation. <laughs> Uh, since I was about six. You're bringing me a lot of species I already keep, so uh, we're gonna integrate them into our little group, and I think, you know, when you guys, you know, if you wanna keep track of Scotty's turtles, come on over and visit my channel from time to time, How and I'm cool sure you'll that? see them, man. You're it's gonna awesome. be able to see my turtles being here yeah. at Camp Kennan, so. Um, so the game plan for this, we're going to release these guys one by one, and we'll explain yeah. their situations, and the care for them, and stuff like that. That's it, let's do it, man. Awesome. It's an educational episode this is of uh, Scotty Kramer's This is gonna be a fun channel. one. And check out Ricky, he looks really festive today. Hey, yeah. Well, you know. I'm dressing apart everywhere this, I go, This guys. dude, Ricky, is looking, <laughs> you gotta have a hat this when you're in <laughs> safari. You know? Clearly, clearly. Or if you're going bald. I mean, we all got hats except for one guy here, so. <laughs> awesome. Who doesn't well, have yeah, a hat here? Right. Yeah, Big boy. But he's got the bourbon. I got a mob, dude. I got the bourbon. No, you're bourbon good, mob. dude. You mop you're, on fire. You're, you're keeping those follicles for a few years, dude. <laughs> when you get into your 40s, you know, you gotta be a man about it. Just shave it. Streamline though. All eyebrows. Aerodynamic. <laughs> all eyebrows. That's what it's all about, dude. Yeah. So Ricky, I see him wandering over here. He's hanging out with the Sulcatas over here. Look at these guys. What do you think about those massive tortoises like, right there? They're literally like dinosaurs. They just walk around. They're oh. cool as hell looking. Wow. Oh, oh, yeah. Turtle fight. Turtle fight. Uh -oh. oh, look at this. Oh, so Kendall, turtle. What's happening there? So, so what happens is I've got three males in here, and uh, this species of the Sulcata tortoise, they can get a little rough from time to time. Now, that's the big dog. But watch this, he won't try that crap with Hercules. No way. So it's kind of a pecking order. See, is he Hercules squaring up right now? Is yeah, that I think he is? is. Hercules just showing him like, yo, dude. Yo. Wow. <laughs> you want to step with me? You going to mess that, with my buddy? Yeah. Look at that little Look at that little slide back and forth. Yeah, so it's it's uh, posturing. Uh, not right. unlike in human males. You, uh, right you okay. know, I know Big Boy hits the gym a lot, you know. A lot of posturing at the gym oh, or at oh, the oh, beach. Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, oh. Now, believe it or not, these kind of battles, oh, see, he's just, he's just toning them up. Like, yo, you can't be doing that. I'm the boss. Wow. You can't be messing with my friends. I'm out of here. That you is, like that? How do you that like that? for real right there. It's like there. a big boy pretty good. Corey. Oh, oh, don't do it, little guy. No, 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 that's a female. Corey, chill. Yeah. Corey, chill. <laughs> Probably about the same height. Oh All right, let's God. go get some turtles. Let's do it, man. Fine. Right. They're totally fine. Crazy. He's stressing, Look dude. Look at this crazy turtle dad over here. Yeah. I'm nervous. He is. He's right. like, dude, because I, I love these Don't guys, be a helicopter man. turtle dad, right? Perfect. I know they're in perfect. <laughs> what is that? You don't know what a helicopter hovering mom is? Over, yeah. Always hovering over your child oh, at the playground. Won't yeah, let him get a scratch. Sense. We need to get children right. out there. Shout we need children right. to get oh, we dirty. We need scrapes on the knees. You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Hello. It doesn't kill you. True that. Oh, look at Trey. He's got special yes. right here. Oh. This guy's a little awkward to carry, I'll be honest. Oh, uh, no worries, man. He's yeah. just trying. I can't really. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. You want to grab this yeah, yeah. This is great. <laughs> I was trying to get to the door. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> a little awkward. Look, oh, yeah. Wow. Gosh, That's, man. Well, what kind? What is this? A Lamborghini of boxes? Yeah. What are you doing? Let's go, guys. <laughs> we're, we're moving. This is great. All right, so the first. Holy smokes, she's beautiful. 
Look at this. This is a beautiful leopard tortoise, man. Now here's what's sick about this. Come on over here, let's put her in. And I wanna show you why oh, I'm so excited about this female because look at her. Look, girl, grass. Let She's going to see leopard tortoises for the first time in, I don't even know, I mean, maybe since she was born. So. Oh, it's like seeing her, but double. Yeah, that's the female, and here's the male. And if you look, I mean, it's kind of neat um, that they're very similar in appearance. They're what we call snow leopards. It's just they're leopard tortoise, but they have this really beautiful coloration. Um, so they're all going to live here. And look at her just wandering around. Yeah, yeah she's already exploring. I know what it's like. It's I know what cool. it's like. It's, it, it's, it's nerve. It's sad, but, but it happy. It feels so good, though, at the same time. Like, yeah. um, I, I just want her just to live a, a perfect tortoise life. That's it. And that was that was my whole entire goal with her. So to see her here with other leopard tortoises, like this is going to be amazing. Yeah, this it's is, really cool. And this male is going to be stoked. <laughs> Two babes walking around. Two in chicks. Here, <laughs> so we got the leopard in there. We have six more turtles to go release. So uh, we're going to walk around to the next area. We'll see where we're at. Holy smokes. So Scotty, man, this is really cool. These are pretty map turtles. I love map turtles. This looks like a female. Uh, but look at the eyes. And then I just love the markings, right? The post-orbital blotches behind their eyes. I get so <laughs> freaking nerdy, dude. She's really beautiful. So this is going to be amazing. And then here it is. Then this whole entire um, perimeter is turtle-proof, so they can't get out. But there are other map turtles in here. So what we're going to do is let's put them, uh, let's put them down. And we'll have a turtle race into the water. Downhill towards the water, kids. Go ahead. Just what? An that's an ant pile. Look out. Don't step on that. Reds? You're going to be hating life. Oh, oh. Here, give me that. Give me that. Give me that thing. Oh, no. Oh, right now. Big boy just <laughs> oh, found no. out <laughs> about fire ants. Oh, no. oh, look at ah, that thing. Ah, ah. Well, me, do I, do I film the turtles? There goes a turtle in the water. Oh, there's the first one going. First one's gone. Later, buddy. But this is the situation. Oh my god. Yeah, those things suck, don't they? Did it get bit off? Yeah, on the top of my foot. Dude. Hey, I got a game for you. Dude. Dude, put your hand in there. See how long you can leave it in there. Yeah. See how long. Look at his face is so <laughs> uh, you don't you're not oh, allergic to bee stings or anything. Oh, oh. meanwhile. Oh, he's going to meet him. Turtle friends. Hey, hey guy. What's up, dude? Hey, welcome to the so, pond. <laughs> Five seconds. Would you put your hand in? There? Uh, for a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Look at that. The maps just went right in there yeah. as Big Boy stole Sorry, the show. Sorry, I was after, on my bad. I did not even see it. Unnecessary spotlights. But, ah! You got him again? Yeah, I swear to God, it's on my heel, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what's crazy is this, they were in a 300 gallon tank at my house. The fact that they have this whole entire pond now to go swim around is just such an awesome feeling. I'm really happy about this. All right, let's uh, let's move on. We'll see if we can find anything else for Big Boy to step in. This is where I keep my Reeves turtles. There's a group of them in here, so I'm excited. Because... There's also a lot of fish that seem yes. to jump out of the water at you. Yes. We noticed that last time we were here when right. Big Boy and Kenna were in here trying to catch the turtles. <laughs> Fish jumped up and hit him in the neck. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I love these guys. They're so wow. cool. These are the funniest little guys, and the they males always so get dark happy. like this. Yeah. So happy, these guys are oh so. My God, they come right up to me all the time. It's like the map turtles, they rain, rain from me, but they just get so excited when we come around. Well, there he's saying goodbye to you right now. Oh, Here he goes. So cool. We're gonna put him in. Go in, little buddy. Go check it out. Oh, that's, really yeah, oh look, that's a male also. They roll together. Yeah. Yeah. They're... Yeah. All right. So here you got your little bud. I just want to make sure they see the, the, the water. There it is. Oh, no. This is going to step to the big guys already. Oh. Oh. Where's wandering. his homie at? He's wandering. Where's he at? He's right all over here. I wish my wife was here to see this. Actually, I don't because she might be crying actually big time. She she did spent a lot of time with these animals. Yes. Yeah. She, she did a good job. They're all raised up. You guys did a great job. All right, guys. We just stumbled over to the other area of the leopards and uh, there's some interesting stuff going on over here. Why don't you show everybody, big boy? We right, have man. the uh, Golden Greek. Yeah, I love really this cool. guy. One of the cutest turtles I've ever seen in my life when it was a hatchling. Um, but he is a bit of a hellion. He okay. was picking on the leopard tortoise on the way here. And I remember last time we were here, we were in this uh, Greek area, and the other tortoise flipped the other one. Right. I mean, are, are Greeks just like, are they I rowdy I don't know, or man. I mean, you know, there's a lot of posturing uh, with these animals from time to time. But what's neat, why I'm excited, is I have a female golden Greek in there. Um, and then the other males are, are bigger than him, so I think they'll kind of 
show them what's up and yeah. how to act. And I'll, of course, keep an eye on them, but this is where we're gonna go. We're gonna go, and they also live with these rhino iguanas, so wow, he's, cool. he's gonna have a lot going on. Right, so we'll go watch your feet. On in there. We're gonna put them in. But here, here's the other golden Greek, big boy. Look at this. Here's the female. Isn't that cool? Wow. So she's great. been here for a while. Look, I got you a boyfriend. So let's see if he's a jerk to everybody. Let's see what's what. Here comes another one. They're, they're gonna sniff him and check it out. Here comes one of my rhino iggies. Come here, you want some food, don't you? I don't have any food though. This is a rhinoceros iguana. We got a new tortoise for you to hang out with. So there you have it. All the they're tortoises all are counted for. We're gonna go ahead and put the star tortoise indoors. But I think now it's time to really cut loose and have some fun with some of the animals here at Camp Kennedy. I know Rick is uh, wants to put that hat to good use. You, know, you can't wear a hat like that on this property and not meet Slinky and a few snakes. Ah! Damn it. <laughs> not quick what do you got? Trey, what did you just catch, dude? An iguana, a baby that. iguana. We're gonna pull out a snake I just got about three months ago. Uh, I got it from a friend, Tom Crutchfield. He's like a serpent guru, but it's an Indian python and I always wanted to have an Indian python. He was like, hey, you can take mine, no problem. What's well, cool about Indian pythons? So this Indian python, um, you know, my buddy Kyle, that you guys remember from a video a few months ago, uh, he and I are gonna do a uh, sanctuary together and I wanted to have cool species to show the public and also show them what's a good pet and what's not a good pet. This is not a good pet. So I got this animal. Uh, it's, she's, she had an injured neck from when the guys caught her. Sometimes if you grab a snake behind their head, yeah. um, you can injure them. If you're watching my videos, you'll see this thing. It has like a weird mo mobility. She's been in there for a few weeks. I leave her alone to kind of recoup. But since there's a lot of people here, I want to pull her out because you're not supposed to uh, handle these snakes by yourself. She's a bit of a handful. She's a bit of a handful. So this is gonna I'm going to go in there. Uh, you can peek over my shoulder, but I think you should hang back until I get her out. Okay. She's fa she can be perfect. fast. Yeah. And I uh, don't want you to get oh. bit. Let's go. Come on, big boy. That's perfect. Come, come on, come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Trey, come on. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> So again, guys, this is the way. And look at this, she's moving much better. This I'm in a good strike hard. place. She can hit it. She can hit at me. She can reach you from there? Yes, yeah, so what you want to do is you That her. means the closer you oh. Oh. oh my god. Is there different species that are more aggressive, pythons? Well, you know, what I would say is that the snakes are more, I hesitate to say aggressive, because let's face it, she's not being aggressive, she's defensive right now, yeah. right? So she's just standing her ground, or she just doesn't want to be poked and prodded. Um, so I, I hesitate to say she's aggressive, but she's extremely defensive right now, and rightfully so. She was all wrapped up in her little cage, and I just dragged her on out. It's a big to-do. But again, it's something I wanted to do because I want to see how she's moving, man. It's very important. And so since you guys showed up, I'm stoked because if she bit me and locked on, I would need help getting her off. But any snake that's bigger than you, you should not handle alone. Okay. So I'm glad. This is looking all right. Well, I'm glad um, you got the A-team here with you today to, uh, oh, sure. to handle the snake. I got, you, I got you, dog. Grab her tail. Yeah? Grab her tail, pull her back. You're going to grab a little bit towards the <laughs> thickness now. And, 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 grab no, her, don't Rick. do it now, Rick. Grab yeah, her, I don't even see it. Don't do it, Rick. All right, hold on. Now, now yeah, you now see I'm this. Not gonna grab this the tail. Now you're not going to, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'll just This is great. Here, hold on to it. Oh, See how she's this way? So you gotta get, say move the back of her head, right? See, you gotta be active with it. Oh, a little bit further up there. There you go. She's back of the there head. There you go. Back of the now head. Pull Rick. her back out gently. Don't stay near me. <laughs> go that way. The back of the head, Rick. All right, good. That's good. Now just hold yeah, it for a second. Rick. Now you see where she's coming? All right. See where she's coming? <laughs> so, that was cool. So I think we've done enough, man. I don't want to stress animals out, but I really, really did need to see how this thing's moving. And I can't do this by myself, man. I have to have some friends with me. I appreciate that. Got you, dude. Thank you, fellas. All right, so now the big the thing is, can I get her back in? Oh, in the case. All right. Done. Nobody stuff. got hurt. Now me, not snake, we're good. You don't want to get bit by a snake that big. A lot of people, you know, there'll be macho guys out there, snake dudes that'll say, oh, no, no big deal. 
It's a big deal if you get hit by a big snake like that. There's 200 teeth in their mouth. When you do get hit by a snake like that, you're not supposed to yank. If you yank, you're gonna get shredded, dude. So basically, you just have to let them hit you. Hope it's just a quick defensive bite and not one where they throw their coils around you because then they're anchored on, it hurts. You're gonna get nerve damage, uh, tissue damage, and then you're gonna potentially have the uh, ability to be uh, asphyxiated. About 100, if I were to guess. If you know, gonna be 600? Yeah, it's four four turtle. Turtle. That was my favorite oh, tortoise in the world. Like, this the most I'm beautiful weird. shell <laughs> ever. Yeah, I don't want, it's I'm amazing. Would you ever get Jeez. one of these? Huh? Oh, dude, I wish, man. I, I wish. One of these days, you're gonna move to Florida, man. One of these days, I'll move to Florida. If you ever want those tortoises back, if you're ever ready to do it again, man, I'm your guy. How cool is that? No worries. Rick, Amazing. you gotta pet him. You, you gotta, gotta pet him. Go ahead, they're, come on. They're the most non-violent, passive Say, Don't come from ever. the top, come from the bottom, and then scratch his neck. Give him a good scratch. Now he, now he knows you're there. Now he's limp mode. He literally is Now he's chilling. Yeah. Hasn't moved. I don't want anyone else, all the other tortoises to know, but I love this guy the best. <laughs> <laughs> the coolest shell I've ever seen in my life. Beautiful, absolutely amazing. All right, guys, we are back here at Cannons. We actually just went over, we got some lunch, and then we went over and we actually saw a movie. We ended up seeing the I Avengers uh, Infinity War, and uh, Kenan saw it for the third time. Yeah. I'm so glad that we yeah. were able to come here and to bring the tortoises and the turtles here. And I just want to thank you. My and, pleasure. And not only on behalf of you know me of having my animals here, but just everybody that just loves turtles around the world that you're taking such uh, great care of them all. I love them, man. And I just wanted to um, let you know that you know my buddy Kyle. If you check out the channel, if you check out Scotty's channel, and you're a fan, you'll notice that we did a video with a bunch of crocs and gators and stuff at my buddy Kyle's house. So Kyle and I are joining forces. That facility, that area is going to become a uh, wildlife reptile sanctuary. So I'm gonna be working uh, with Kyle and we're gonna be able to do a lot more good. So How stick cool around, that? that's gonna be developing uh, on my channel, you'll see the whole thing. Going from my backyard to a real facility is gonna be incredible. This is going to be so yeah. cool. We're so excited to see the finished product on that. We're gonna make our way back down there, definitely for that one. But Kenan, thank you again and- uh, Come on, man. Always I love a pleasure. You. I'm love always, you too, brother. I'm always thrilled to hang out with you guys. Big boy, you too. I, I do love <laughs> you, man. Yeah. Good luck today. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's going to be it. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you go over to Kenan's channel, check it out. It's Kemp Kenan, and you guys can watch all of his videos, and you guys will actually see my tourists on there as well. But, guys, we're going to be starting heading back over towards Trey's area. We're going to spend the night there, and then we're going to try to do some riding tomorrow. It's been like thunderstorms like crazy all week, but we're going to try to squeeze something out of this one. So, uh, guys, till next time, remember to subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. Peace.